I wanted to show you a really easy way to make a portrait cookie, even if you're not a good drawer. So the first thing you need to decide on is what picture you're going to do. I'll share some apps that I like to use to get the picture in a black and white kind of easy way to draw. So here on my projector you can see that I've taken a photo and what I want to look for is just make it the simplest I can. So not too many crazy lines, you know, something that when you break it down section by section is going to be easy enough to trace and color in. Now I cannot for the life of me draw really well without copying something or tracing something. So if somebody wants a portrait cookie, this is a really, really great way to do it. Now I know it seems very easy because it's just kind of drawing and, and so on with the pen, but sometimes it can get difficult because you really have to trust the process. So I have a fine liner here, a fine point pen, and I'm basically just drawing the outlines of the dark areas I see. Now, of course, you see I've drawn a few circles and things like that. So that's the areas that usually there's no um, dark or black and usually I try to outline a little bit bigger than they are because when I color in sometimes the holes or those areas get smaller. So the tricky parts are the very very tiny lines and I try to do them very softly. So I'm just going gently with my pen. I'm not kind of pushing hard so that I'll get a lot of ink there. I just tap really really gently especially on you know the fine lines where the lips are and then I can go in and darken it if need be. And one trick I've learned is when there's really, really fine lines, it's almost better to do dots and connect those dots than try to make a straight line or, you know, follow the line exactly. And so that's what I'd start with is just outlining the major things and anywhere there's kind of not a shadow or anything, then I will just leave an outline around it. And I go kind of gently and loosely, I'm holding my pen kind of a little further than I would if I was writing, just to kind of get a feel of a smooth lines and not like rigid, you know, corners and stopping points. So I just kind of follow the line and go as best as I can. So now you can have a rough outline of what it looks like. You can see some of the dots on the lips there. I'm trying to do really fine lines, small lines. And then we're going to go ahead and color it in. So this pen that I use, I will link it down below in the description of the video. So it has a thicker marker on the other side. So one side is a very fine tip and then the other side is the marker. So you basically just color it in now. But any of those circles that I've drawn around the white spaces, I kind of outline them nice and thick and then I'll go around and color quickly. I've sped this part up a lot because it does take a while and you don't want to smudge it and you kind of have to draw a little further away than you did normally so it may feel a little awkward but you kind of get used to it and can angle the cookie differently you don't have to keep it you know facing you the whole time to make it easier for yourself When I'm searching for photos or um, changing the photos, I'll use a lot of the different filters that they have just to see what makes it the simplest picture for me to draw. And if it has too many crazy details, then I will adjust the brightness or the darkness to kind of take away a lot of those black dots so that it makes it easier for me to outline. And another thing I like to do is kind of color in different directions so you don't see the marker lines too well and kind of add a few circles and a few dots here and there just to mix it up a bit. And it looks pretty good. I mean, for someone that can't really draw, you know, and if you gave this cookie to somebody, they would be pretty impressed that it looks like the person that it is. So at the end here, I'll show you the picture versus what I did and let me know what you guys think. I hope next time you have a portrait picture, you make it nice and easy for yourself and use this trick.
Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Happy baking!